Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is May Patch Day. Today's news is the routine and yet very relevant Microsoft and Adobe Patch Day, where both those companies release all of their patches for the month. Now, the too long didn't watch version of this video is if you use Microsoft or Adobe products, go check out their bulletins and get the appropriate patches. But for those that want to stick around for the details, Microsoft Patch Day consisted of 16 security bulletins fixing a number of security vulnerabilities across a wide range of their products. Eight of the bulletins were rated as critical, meaning they fixed some pretty important flaws. The affected products include Windows, the Internet Explorer and Edge browser, the .NET framework, IIS, and Microsoft Office. Now, it's not really worth going into every vulnerability in detail. Just know the critical vulnerabilities, and even some of the important ones, fix a lot of remote code execution flaws. So flaws where if a user visits a website or downloads an Office document, that may be enough for the attacker to exploit the flaw and execute execute code on that user's system, gaining control of it. So in short, if you use Microsoft products, go get those updates. Now, Adobe Patch Day consists of three security advisories, really two that they released today and one that they actually pre-released a few days earlier. The one they pre-released fixes a number of flaws in Adobe Acrobat and Reader. Many people use Reader and this fixes a ton of flaws. So if you use Reader, you definitely need to patch. Another update fixes cold fusion vulnerabilities, which is their web application service. Server, but a very important update is actually their Flash update. Basically, they fixed a zero-day vulnerability in Flash that bad guys are actually exploiting in the wild. And by the way, this is kind of a pre-advisory. I think the true update for Flash won't come out till May 12th, but it's a pretty important update, so be sure to get it if you use Adobe Flash. Long story short, as I said before, if you use Microsoft or Adobe products, go get the relevant updates. Now, like I said, patch day is quite routine, but it is still very important. Realize that patching is one of the most relevant things you can do to actually increase your overall security stance. Many of the vulnerabilities out there leverage already patched issues. So be sure to apply these updates. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.